Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv. Information Systems Professions. The technological landscape of scientific and technical knowledge, STI, has mutated since the invention of the web. Where reporting alone was sufficient, the web made document exchange possible. Researchers have invented new ways to share research results. Open archives are an example of this. Information search practices of researchers have improved, with access to articles, then data, and finally efficient and global search engines. As the volume of data increased, the power of computers increased, a certain autonomy was formed among scientists, direct exchanges, web platforms for publishing data. Sometimes IT professionals abandon certain technical knowledge. Aspects of configuration are not always well integrated into these new tools. While the definition of big data cannot be compared in volume between particle physics data and historical data, the volumes of data accessible via the web are becoming more and more important. Unfortunately, problems arise due to insufficient or insufficiently qualified metadata for reuse. It is even complained about the absence of really useful references due to the lack of connection with each other. This is a general problem of the open data movement more generally. A spreadsheet data, but with production context, data validity, previous uses, integrity, etc. covers an important issue. However, the data network relies on the reliability of the information and hence the trust relationship between data producers and users. There is interdependence between data. This is a formidable challenge for IST professions who need to better invest their knowledge in this evolution of the web. Access Project This is the recommendation by Isidore as the first platform to enrich and access open research data and documents in the humanities and social sciences. It was designed in 2010 by TGE Adonis, now Humanum, and CCSD with the know-how of a consortium of industrialists. It allows information and document professionals to develop thesaurus and repositories by making semantic enrichments. This is undoubtedly the first experience in this direction that can be applied to those with large amounts of data and a large number of repositories to be opened and shared on the web. One of the features of Isidore is to see the result of these categorized and augmented metadata descriptions in an RDF database. It is also a solid use of the methods and techniques of the semantic web and linked data to present it in triple repository. Thus, Isidore prefers structured information for both the metadata and data it collects, and the repositories that allow for enrichment. Information document professionals should therefore provide in-depth support for the challenges of accessing data. This is the main guarantee of success for these chunks of data to be truly reusable. This provides contextualization of data, adding metadata, producing enrichments that make it possible to connect information, not just make it accessible. Because today, open data often looks like a list of data catalogues, as it did in the early hours of Web 1.0. Decision Strategy Decision-making information systems, IS, are set to become major supports for decision support functions in public policy. In these functions, management analysis, internal audit, evaluation, finance etc. The need to rely on reliable and credible data is common. These include bringing together indicators from lines of business, cross-referencing them with multiple contextual information, as well as data from financial and human resources. Each intervenes with its own prism. Management by objectives and priorities, control and management of risks, examination of impacts and social benefit, budgetary and financial approach. But articulating decision-making aid requires consistency of information used. Beyond the debate between computer scientists and statisticians, these are management issues where decision strategy questions arise. The general administration of local governments has various decision-making support branches that they can mobilize according to their needs. As a minimum, they can focus solely on the examination of financial data, in the logic of routing with tools, to execute. In such an approach, the breakdown of public policy objectives is essentially a matter of corporate communications strategy. On the contrary, the deployment of a decision-making information system requires a firm wall to content. Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv.